Hey there, so in this video I'm gonna be talking about um, my uh, uh, starter modern WP development workflow if I'm uh, starting a WordPress theme or I'm gonna create a WordPress theme what I would choose and uh, what I have been using uh, since uh, past few months so let's get to it so the first thing uh, when you're starting off a, a WordPress project uh, uh, like a theme you would definitely need a design so when talking about design uh, there has been a recent tool that uh, is being uh, popular since um, quite some time and i have been using it since a year and have made many awesome projects in there so i'm talking about figma by the way so figma is a online tool online design tool as it says here the collaborative interface design tool it has many great features and uh, as you have seen many other uh, uh, design tools such as uh, illustrator or uh, any other tool uh, they do have a price tag uh, like uh, if you want to um, use them to create your design or anything you have to pay for it like uh, so what makes figma unique uh, is uh, it it's a free app and it runs on in the browser and uh, it has many great features such as this collaborative feature where uh, all of your teammates can collaborate uh, in the single file and can make the design with each other like you know it's it really helps like it as it say, says here figma helps create teams create test and ship better designs from start to finish uh, the home page itself shows you a uh, uh, like a vague preview of what it does but there is a lot like you can explore in the main uh, app so uh, how it works is you create an account at figma.com and just log in there and you'll have uh, a whole set of features uh, uh, and you can create your own design so I'm not gonna get into much here uh, since I'm just gonna be talking about the development workflow uh, so I just I gave you the idea of uh, creating mm, the design which is really a basic step uh, for starting a development workflow so the next thing I'm going to talk about is a code editor and uh, after your design the next thing you're gonna be needing is a code editor so uh, what uh, the code editor I use for my uh, daily use and uh, uh, basic workflow is uh, VS code it really has all of the stuff you need uh, for a coding uh, job and let's just look at VS Code VS Code is a code editor uh, by Microsoft and it's a free uh, open source code editor as you can see here code editing redefined free built on open source runs everywhere so it is available for uh, um, Mac uh, Windows and uh, I suppose it is also available for Linux yeah there is so um, VS Code, uh, yeah, let's look into my VS Code. I have it here. So, uh, VS Code looks like this, but actually, it's not gonna look like this because I have a themed one. Uh, it's gonna look uh, similar, but not exactly like this. But it does, it has the same features. Like it, it will have the same features either it's styled or not. So you can theme it. Uh, it has many theming options, extensions available for uh, doing such. Uh, things and uh, so uh, a code editor is really good uh, if it has all the uh, basic stuff you're gonna needing uh, you're gonna be needing for a development workflow such as uh, what you're talking about is uh, WordPress development workflow WordPress theme development workflow so uh, VS Code has ton of extensions you can choose from if you're uh, working on a project uh, so since we're talking about WP theme development, uh, I'm gonna be showing you what I use. Uh, I have this uh, PHP CS and PHP CVF uh, extension, uh, which is uh, uh, extension for uh, formatting my code and showing any uh, errors uh, depending on the uh, standards I, I use for checking my code. And uh, there's this ESLint, which also uh, is helpful in checking any uh, JavaScript uh, code I write. And it uh, tells me any errors about any errors or anything. And um, there's this uh, ES7, React, uh, Redux, and uh, uh, it's a snippet uh, helper, automatic snippet helper. And uh, there are these uh, 
PHP debug, which is uh, uh, extension support for Xdebug. And there's this PHP IntelliSense, which uh, helps in, uh, uh, it's really an idea imported from the uh, net, uh, that JetBrains app, that uh, IntelliSense uh, feature they had, like uh, automatic completion of code and uh, um, intelligent uh, code sensing uh, like suppose you have a function and it's written somewhere else it will automatically detect and uh, if you have a class it will automatically detect where it is and what parameters it's gonna take and etc so these are really helpful extensions uh, these are freely available in VS code uh, extension market you can easily find them and install them I do also have a PHP CS and WP CS configuration video I'll link it in the description so that's about it, uh, the uh, code editor. So the third thing uh, which I'm going to talk about is um, um, a WP development environment, which is really the next step if you're uh, like, it's really the first step if you're uh, going to uh, create a WP uh, product, such as a theme. So what I use for my daily uh, WordPress development uh, stuff as an environment is local by flywheel. It's, uh, it's a really simple app available for Windows and Mac. And uh, yeah, it's a free app. Uh, basically, they started uh, off a free app and they have a pro thing now, but uh, you're really not gonna need the pro one. I do not use it myself. Um, all the things are already free, so you really are not required to have the pro one so as you can see this is the flywheel app this is how it looks uh, after it gets installed uh, you can uh, create your site and it's gonna show up here just click on the plus button and it's gonna ask you for your site name and uh, the site domain and the path it's simply gonna add a local uh, host entry uh, in your uh, hosts file for the domain name and uh, you can create a a site with this and manage it to uh, it it already manages all the stuff uh, a basic uh, site requires like such as database uh, uh, server configuration uh, and uh, etc so I have this uh, WP installation <coughs> sorry <coughs> so I have already this WP installation made let's visit this one so it's a basic uh, um default installation of wordpress it's running on wp 5.3 it has uh, all the default wordpress features as you may assume um so uh what you can do next is you can set it up for your wordpress development uh, next steps are uh, basically you can go into the uh, wp folder it's stored in uh, um, the site name and the app and then public and then it has all the bare bones of a WordPress site. Uh, so just visit in your config. You can visit uh, the WP config file. As you can see, I've opened it here. And uh, I'd suggest adding a constant for uh, if you're gonna um, be uh, create, uh, working on a uh, WP development project. Uh, that will be simply define WP debug wp underscore debug and set it to true that'll be it so what that does is uh, tells uh, uh, wordpress to uh, show you all the errors and uh, uh, any warnings etc on the uh, ui so that is really helpful and uh, it uh, helps you a lot while you're uh, uh, creating uh, a feature or writing code uh, related to wordpress so um uh, okay so the next thing is uh, uh the plugins you can use to uh, help boost your wp theme development so uh, then will be you can just visit uh, the plugins and add new and uh, the first plugin i'm going to talk about is query monitor um it's really helpful because uh, it shows you all the queries and uh, uh, monitors them throughout uh, the site development. I'm going to show you what it does exactly. So there it is, query monitor. So uh, it shows you all the uh, uh, transient updates and uh, uh, site logging and uh, let's see. 
let's activate this one and uh, if any error happens any queries requests uh, scripts and styles you being used on the page it shows you them uh, and uh, any hooks and actions being fired on the page and uh, when it fires all the uh, serialization and everything the priorities and everything you can sh see it here so it's really helpful if you're trying to uh, create a wp theme or a plugin um, and uh, it shows you everything uh, on the page and on the site what's happening behind and it's really helpful it also shows you warnings etc and where it's happening the site stack call etc and uh, yeah it's really helpful while you're doing a wordpress development project so the next thing uh, the next plugin uh, is uh, developer plugin so let's quickly search for a developer Remember to add automatic after developer because it may not come by just uh, searching for developer. It's a very old plugin, but uh, let's not get confused by the uh, updates or not. Uh, but it's it's uh, it's a really useful plugin. Like it's been made by uh, automatic and here it is. I have already installed it. So uh, what developer gives you is it's a it's a fetch a plugin for all the uh, stuff you need all the features you need for a plugin or theme development so as you can see what it asks for uh, what you're gonna be doing with this installation so as you can see we're gonna be doing a theme for a self-hosted wordpress installation and click save changes okay Okay, then it'll show you all the list of plugins um, you can install for theme development. It'll uh, These are really helpful plugins. Um, depending on your requirement, you can install these. So Monster Widget uh, is, is a helpful plugin if you're uh, uh, creating a WordPress theme. So Monster Widget is, uh, uh, is a simple uh, widget which holds all of the widgets and uh, uh, you can simply add that monster widget to any sidebar or widget area and I'll simply show all of those default WordPress widgets and uh, uh, there's user switching it's it, it is also useful if your uh, if your theme has a, uh, a switching uh, kind of uh, if you need uh, user to user uh, testing um, environment so you can easily switch between users uh, with different roles suppose you have a different feature for editor and a different feature for admins and different feature for uh, uh, contributors so you can e use this user switching plugin to easily switch between users and uh, you're not gonna have to go through all the login process etc uh, so yeah <clears throat> um, uh, there's this RDL tester. It's really not a required. Uh, it's really I don't think it's really needed. But in uh, countries where uh, RDL is a thing, you can use it if you want to support that. Uh, there uh, is regenerate thumbnails. Uh, it's helpful. It's really helpful. Uh, regenerate th thumbnails. What it does is um, it helps you regenerate uh, uh, the thumbnails you have uploaded uh, for the sizes uh, you have added recently in your theme, which uh, may not be available in uh, earlier. So it force it helps you force regenerate those thumbnails you uh, images you already have added. So that's helpful. And there's this theme check plugin, which helps you um, check your theme uh, uh, running with that uh, WP standards and any code errors, etc. It has some default checking rules. Uh, so that'll help. And there's this log viewer. Uh, finally, log viewer is, uh, is helpful, very helpful, I suppose, because uh, in any case, you may run into an error and having a log viewer right in front of a uh, right in um, WordPress installation is really great. So that's it. There it is. You can install easily uh, these with the single clicks by simply clicking. In.